Hey guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, this video is actually going to be a little bit different today. Uh, the reason for that is because I did not originally record my uh, voice along with my gameplay and stuff like that, so I'm overdubbing right now. Uh, so I've decided just to make my way down to Blight Town, or not Blight Town, down to the swamp. Ran into a few of the locals there along the way. I uh, got into a little bit of trouble right here, as you can see. Uh, Ended up getting poisoned. I did not die. I managed to heal it off, and I took care of the guys that were right there. Uh, I cut out my son, but I 100% guarantee that I did kill them. And I, yeah. So I made my way down below, kind of stared at my foot twitching for a couple minutes, and then restored my back. And that's because I wanted to get Mildred summoned and ended up taking her out no problem or else that blah blah many her Mildred was slain and then I went over to Quillag's door and summoned my fat little concubine to help me um, healed up, topped off, went inside now the fight with Quillag actually didn't take that long my sword was actually fairly buffed at this point. I think it was a plus five. Uh, so you'll actually see me doing so a fair amount of damage right here. Uh, so it really didn't take me that long, just a couple minutes. The, I believe I do about 500, I believe. Yeah, yeah, about 500. And killed her shortly after. And then I was a little bit con uh, conflicted with something. Uh, I would decide to head down to War, uh, Quailana, but I decided not to actually kill her. Uh, I was originally going to get her Soul Keeper Soul, or Fire Keeper Soul, and use it, but I decided against it because I just felt bad for killing her. So I ran back up and I decided to head over to the Great Hollow so I could show you guys a farming spot for gathering up some large titanite shards uh... so basically you go inside the tree get to the bon the first bonfire that's inside of it uh, if you don't remember how to get to the great hollow check out my uh... Spyhander build and that goes into i believe a little bit more depth on how to get over to this tree and inside of it and stuff like that uh... but yeah so you get to that bonfire and you just head right outside of the tree It this run is best done if you actually have a decent number of homeward bones uh, a good person to get those from is actually the merchant right outside of uh, Firelink Shrine inside that little uh, causeway or whatever the heck that is but I didn't do this run very efficiently I kind of took a long route around instead of actually making it a straight path which, it's alright. My path would have been... is actually kind of okay. Still not the best. Uh, but that's just because I was running around to the other side. I can't remember how many exactly there are in this place. Um, how many are there? Like 10 leeches? 11 leeches? I think that it's about the same number as the Dark Wraiths down in New Londo but I don't remember exactly. Well, you can see I'm pretty much just one-shotting these one-handed uh, with my claymore and that's just a plus five. It's not a, not anything special yet. But uh, if you have uh, ten humanity and uh, the gold serpent ring you'll actually farm up these shards in no time at all. Uh, probably about two runs it'll take you to actually do this. Uh, in order for me to get to a plus ten, uh, it took me five runs uh, with how the amount of humanity that I actually have on me right at this point in time. I don't have the ring and I didn't ever get the ring and so you see where I just grabbed server right there uh, if you actually do it properly you can homeward bone from that point 
or just run straight back. That's if you started with the leeches underneath the base of the trunk of this uh, great hollow right over here on this other side, which you're about to see. Because there's two leeches underneath this little branch right here, or this root. Uh, or I'm not sure what to call it because it's not really a root. <laughs> and I think leeches right here. Yes, just the two. And I kind of screwed up right there, but anyway. But yeah, that is the farm that I did. Uh, you can actually make it a little smoother by going underneath this little ramp right here, uh, killing those two, and then going around. And like I said, if you have homeward bones, you can actually complete this run in less than two minutes. Honestly, there's no reason why it wouldn't, why it should take you any longer than that. Um, but if you don't have a lot of homeward bones and you don't have the money to get the homeward bones. Just uh, go out underneath, and then around, and then back over to this bonfire, and just keep repeating that. It's pretty fast and easy. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and you have a good one. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Ah.